my gaming setup hasn't really changed over the years and it's pretty much looked like what you see here over time now yes i've made little upgrades here or there but for the most part nothing has really changed until today no longer will i be using that asus 3440 by 14p monitor today i will be using this the samsung g8 neo or odyssey neo g8 whatever they call it that's what i'm going to be upgrading to and uh let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed so we can take a look at it now this isn't a review uh, a lot of you know that I don't really do reviews. I will every now and again. So if you're looking for a review, I would highly recommend checking out a channel that actually knows what they're talking about. Uh, however, I will be talking about why I specifically chose this monitor over so many other choices. But first, let's get it unboxed so we can at least take a look at what you can expect if you were to get one yourself at home. I don't think you guys can see this. All right, all right, I'm putting it on the floor. Ugh. All right, on the first layer of styrofoam here, looks like we get all of the accessories that you could possibly want. Um, we have some sort of weird, I don't even know what this is. Looks like some sort of adapter maybe, or maybe this is a ring that goes on the back. Um, this looks like an adapter actually. Um, this looks like maybe a vase mount adapter. We got our stand, which we're not really gonna check out. Uh, this is also part of the stand. A whole bunch of cables, heck yes. So I actually don't think I have DisplayPort 1.4. Uh, so Samsung providing a cable is really cool. I'm gonna need that. And they give us a white power brick. So let's just go ahead and put this aside. Oh, and there's like, something to cover up the cables on the rear. Let's put this aside. I I'm honestly not really interested in this. I just wanna get this set up and going. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump into why I bought this monitor instead of something else and why I waited so long in upgrading. I have no space for all this stuff. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that curve is monstrous. I didn't really want a curved monitor, especially one this curved. I was hoping to get a flat panel one uh, and I've been looking at HDR monitors for quite some time, but nothing has really scratched that itch. Nothing has really come out that made me want to upgrade from the ASUS monitor. And so I've just kind of been waiting and waiting and waiting, and I was pretty close to getting the G9 Odyssey, but that one just didn't really do it for me. I didn't want another ultra wide. I really wanted 4K. Uh, I got a 4K monitor at work and that really kind of changed my attitude towards 4K. So that's kind of what I was looking for as opposed to another ultra wide. And even then the specs on that G9 were, well, they were just okay in my opinion. There were other monitors that could do a lot more that were smaller and were 4K and had HDR and all the bells and whistles, better refresh rates, yada, yada, yada. But even those other monitors were still just not what I was looking for. So then finally comes along Samsung with mini LED technology. And that's what this monitor has to offer. Something totally new, not done before for gaming monitors. It's 244 hertz, hertz, <laughs> hertz with a VA panel, uh, which is interesting, but you know, shouldn't be terrible, uh, especially coming from an IPS. Um, so yeah, it pretty much has everything I could want in a monitor, HDR support, like whatever Samsung's um, calling it, HDR 2000 or 1000, whatever it is. And it's got AMD FreeSync Pro, so that means I can still use G-Sync. It's pretty much got everything I could want in a monitor. And the funny part is, is I actually won't even be able to run this monitor at like 244 hertz because I have an old Titan X Pascal graphics card. Like, I don't even think I can push 4K. Like, 3440 by 1440, I can barely get 60 hertz out of Tomb Raider, or 60 hertz, 60 FPS out of Tomb Raider. Uh, you know, max settings, obviously HDR is not enabled because I don't have an HDR monitor. But uh, nonetheless, I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to drive this thing. So that means we're gonna actually have to get 
a new graphics card in the future, like preferably a 4000 series whenever Nvidia decides to bless us with those. That wasn't too bad. Wow, this feels flimsy. That wasn't too bad. Assembling this was pretty straightforward. Not really a fan, to be honest, of this glossy white backing, but I'm not gonna see it anyway, so probably not a big deal. Wait a minute. Dang it. This goes on there. Anyway, yeah, I'm not really a fan of this gloss finish, um, but I'm not gonna be touching it very often or at all. Oh man. Okay, that was pretty hard to remove. Wait, how does this how does this work? Oh, okay. That doesn't seem right. I don't know how this works. I don't know what this is. Oh, we have to read the instructions. Oh gosh. Okay, now this just uh, kind of clamps back together and just kind of goes in there somehow. There we go. All right, sweet. This a little wobble to it, yeah? What do you think? Ooh, that adjusts really nice. Yeah, it's got a little wobble to it. Not terrible though. Uh, I've definitely had worse monitor stands. All right, let's not, I'm not waiting anymore. Let's get this thing connected. I'm, I'm ready to see what it can do. All right, old monitor removed. Time to get the new one on the desk. Okay, it doesn't take up as much space as I thought it would. I only have a 24 inch deep desk. So uh, this is surprisingly not as big as I thought it would be, uh, but also not, yeah, this is this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. I have so, I have so much more space now. Okay, so I'm not gonna, whew, I'm out of breath. I'm gonna try and get all of these things plugged back in. It's gonna be a moment. Um, and then we'll take a look at the actual monitor stuff. So I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do any cable management. I'm just gonna get it all working and then we'll take another look. HDMI is no signal, display port no signal. All right, everything's plugged in. I'm guessing I'm just gonna have to redo my computer because that, because display port just sucks. Oh, wow, that recognized instantly. Okay, let's uh, change the resolution here to, oops, to 4K. I, I don't know what this is, go away. Um, e, yes. Wow, that looks, uh, that looks pretty good. Let's, um, Get in here real quick and see what the gameplay. Oh, uh, should I enable HDR now? No, let's play without D. D wow, let's let's play without HDR real quick and just see what it's like. I gotta pull up a chair for this. Okay, I'm only getting 40 frames at 4K. This doesn't look. This doesn't look too different than I'm used to. The colors look really good. Um, yeah, definitely things seem a lot more vibrant. And I just plug this in. I haven't done like any setup at all. Let's see if there's like a a game mode or anything. Let's see, power off, menu, fresh rate is already at 120, adapt to sync is on. Ooh, virtual aim point, gonna need that one. Gonna need that for sure. Picture, ooh, picture mode custom. Wow, FPS, that is bright. Now that is what I'm used to seeing. That looks a lot more similar to my old monitor. Real-time strategy, RPG, sports, sRGB. That'll be good for when I am editing video. Cinema. All right, we're just gonna leave it on. We're gonna set it to RPG. That's pretty dark. 
But um, yeah, I like that. All right, let's see here. Let's see if we can see some uh, dark spots or some parts that are normally really dark. Get down there, Laura. Okay, so with this map in particular, I know that, oh wow, okay. So there's usually like this really bad glow right here because it's supposed to be dark and it has this like really awkward glow. It still looks a little awkward, but mind you, HDR is not enabled. So let me uh, see if we can enable HDR now. Display and graphics. Am I gonna have to exit all the way out? I think I am. All right, we're gonna have to exit all the way out of the game. Gonna need a new background image. <laughs> Uh, cause the new, I, you know, honestly, this curve, this curve isn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. All right. Let's see. Stereoscopic. How do you turn HDR? Oh, I can't enable HDR. <gasps> Is it because my graphics card doesn't support HDR? Oh, that would be a real shame. I bet that's why. All right. Let this be testament to me actually not knowing what I'm doing here. Cause I actually had to enable HDR through the windows. Uh, display settings versus using NVIDIA control panel. That's not something I expected and holy cow the lighting is so much better already. Like this felt like there was always like a flashlight effect and now it's it's pretty it's, there's like almost no flashlight effect at all. It looks like an actual shaded or dark area um, and I wish I could get back to where I was earlier guess it was like down that way but yeah it looks like more like so this is like a fog which makes sense and then you can see that it's like dark here it's not as um flashlighted I, I don't know what the right words are and who knows I'm probably on FPS right now so let's see if we can switch the picture oh this is sRGB so let's switch it back to RPG like I had earlier yeah oh yeah that's so that's so much darker that looks way more that looks way more legit like just the shadows and everything that's insane and the colors look good everything looks like this leaf it doesn't look like a real leaf it looks kind of waxy but still like it just has a much more vibrant color to it and the shadows are just absolutely amazing Oh man, that's awesome. All right, so I'd recommend sticking out to the end of this video so you can see some comparison shots between the Asus ultra wide monitor and the Samsung monitor. There's not gonna be anything technical about it. I'm just gonna show you the difference of what I was going from and now what I'm going to. And that's really it. There's probably not gonna be any talking in that either. Now, clearly I'm gonna need a grass card update, 4000 series. Here I come, can't wait for that. Not gonna get the 3000 series no matter how much they get discounted just because I know that the 4000 series is coming out soon. And I'd like to just go ahead and save that money and for the 4000 series so I can get that extra power that I should, well, that they're expected to give whenever they release. So that way I can run this thing at 4K, presumably at 120 hertz uh, versus 60 currently with the Titan X Pascal and maybe even higher in the future on some titles. But we'll see what happens when we get there. But as for now, I'm just gonna have to put up with what I got and just sit tight, I suppose. And of course, uh, well, videos like this are definitely 100% not possible without you guys. There is no way I would have bought this monitor because it was so expensive. But thankfully, um, because all the support I get from you guys with donations and just watching the videos, or I guess ads technically, um, it's really helped me or enabled me to buy things that are normally out of my price range. So. I appreciate all of you very much for helping me uh, achieve this. This is really awesome. This is uh, an upgrade I didn't really expect that I would be able to have. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to have mini LED. So I wanted to share my experience with this with you guys uh, because, well, without you guys, I wouldn't have this experience, right? So um, anyway, I'm fortunate to have y'all and I appreciate everything. And I will see you guys all on the very next video. Cheers. <laughs>
Thank you.